Um, we need nine charges of fire three. We don't have that yet. Or nine charges of level five magic or warp. So we, uh, we just literally can't. I would have, if I had made it all the way down to the mass mune, uh, I would have been stuck. I couldn't have got out. Well, okay, not explicitly stuck, but I couldn't have just warped back out quickly. I would have had to save one warp. Like, technically, you can get out with one warp on this floor, but you'd have to walk back through all the other floors. Um, and walking back through the other ones, well, if you walk back through a boss tile, you'll have to fight those. And uh, if you're just low on um, HP and potions, you you're not going to make it. Talk about the devil, yeah. It's just been non-stop. Every 30 to 60 minutes, there's been a new one, I think. At first, I thought I was special, and I was uh, working my way up the ranks of the views, but it sounds like it's just happening everywhere. So we're going to need a few more levels up. As soon as I have nine charges of level five, I will uh, give it a roll, though. Having more nukes available it will help as well, though, because I have to fight a lot of bosses on the way down that are pretty tough. And there is definitely some luck involved on the Black Wizard solo run anyway, so... Having more HP is just going to make it a little bit easier. That will always be special. <laughs> Alright, 41 means no extra charges. But I got lots of HP. That's good, right? Alright, um... We're just gonna 1v1 him with, with our dagger. There you go. You could win most battles like that. Use defense a couple times and then just fight them. We'll be seeing that a lot more on the Thief and White Mage runs when that eventually happens. I'm not exactly looking forward to it. Reasons if you hit. Well, that's that's a good point, Jay. I assume Nightbot and the other anti spam bots will get better. However, they're circumventing it at the moment where they occasion occasionally get past it. Actually, I mean I can probably do that myself. Um what I just need to do is figure out why the spam filter did not apply. And I can probably change the, uh, the setting myself in Nightbot, actually. I would have to pay more attention, though. Okay, I gotta save my last Fire 3. I can't use any more Fire 3. This is the fight I've been waiting for. Like to kill a couple worms before we warp out. Ooh, that hurt. Almost got me. Hmm. Frost dragons must have a pretty good, uh, magic defense stat. There's level 42. Still no nine charges, although we're getting lots of nuke charges right now.
Okay, that's why I, I was reading the chat, not paying attention. That's why I put save states down every now and then. <laughs> you guys distracted me. Got me killed. Come on. There it is. Be cool to get one more level up while we're down here, but I don't think we have enough magic for it. You think I should do a thief run in real time, one time speed? Real one time speed. You think wrong, Shinga. You think wrong. No one would watch it, and I would not even be able to finish it. Because um, I know how long it takes on 10 times speed. And if I had to spend 10 times that of my time, I would not do it. That's the kind of video on YouTube you'd have sped up to uh, a ridiculous rate. So fast the battles would be a blur and just say, yeah, this is how long it takes to get to the right level. But even that is more work than I'm going to put into it, I think. Oh yeah, Ice 3 works good on the... Okay, the Chimeras are definitely weak to Ice. I, I gotta remember that. Lock that in my brain. Works good on them. Alright, this is probably my last fight that I'm out. They're almost dead. Whew, but so am I. And there's that level up I was hoping for. And we got a level 3 charge, but not a level 5 charge.
can feel it. Oh, you know, Ice 2 will finish them off, probably. One or two more fights. Just don't use my last Fire 3. Um, I would expect allying with the Lich is profitable in, in some way. <laughs> Alright, so we got to level 46. I'm still probably one level off of what I need. And I, uh, I won't have enough um, spells to get the rest of the way, I don't think. Should've just used a house this time. Because I wasn't playing on buying potions. Alright, let's get that spell. Worms, if you would just cooperate, I would be a lot happier with this place. They're so shy, they only want to come out one at a time. Someone needs to make it rain and then they'll all come hanging around on the top floor. Say 22,000 left. It's gonna be a little bit tight on heal potions, but I think we got it. Wow. So ice three and an ice two was not enough. Weird. There's another one. I hope people paid a lot of money to get those spam bots. They probably didn't, but I hope they did. Okay, we just... How many nukes do these guys take? You don't get any more nukes from me. Oh man, the terrible damage. Us not getting full damage spells. Not cool. That's all I got for heals. Gotta win these fights without taking damage kind of thing. Alright, that should be it, right? Alright, there we go. I got my my ninth charge of level 5 magic. That's what I was really waiting for. And it turns out you need to be level 47. I thought you could do this a lot earlier, but... To do it the lazy, easy way, you also have to level up almost to 50. Alright, well, you know, you learn stuff as you go along. Maybe I should have just done it with eight charges and uh, walked a single floor back rather than just doing this. Okay, this is a little bit too fast. <laughs> That's your thousand frames per second mode. Alright, so, I did say I'd go buy some spells, so what are we missing? Level 6, 7, 8. So 6 is easy. Level 6 black magic that I never bothered to pick up. Um, I mean, Quake at least hits the entire group and might kill them. Ha 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 So we'll pick that up, I guess. And Rub would be an insta-kill spell, and we were, we were, uh... Proofy to that many times, and stun would be a paralyzed spell. I mean, would you rather your enemy was stunned or dead? And if you said anything but dead, minus 10 blue ankular points for you. Per day for the rest of your life. Uh, level 7 magic is split, and level 8 is also here. So, break. The other ones are uh, Temper and some other horrible spell. We might as well pick Break. 
Um, it's a waste of money. Don't. The level 7 and 8 spells that are not Ice 3 and Nuke are just terrible. Break has a chance of turning an enemy to stone, a single target. Well, there was one day I gave away like a million blue kilo points, so you still have a net profit if you manage to get the jackpot. But, I mean, who would who would want their enemies paralyzed? I don't know. Uh, anyway, level eight magic. Um, we'll go we're, we'll go for quadruple X because it sounds cool. And again, uh, zap is alternate dimension or something, and stop is paralyze again. Just because I skipped the last Paralyzed spell does not mean I'm picking it up now. So, sounds cool, but they're pretty terrible. Wait a second, what do they sell in the top slot here? Cabins. If there's ever one with a top slot house, I could buy 99 houses pretty quick. I guess we'll go fill up our level 8 magic, or level 7 magic. By now, the uh, radiation in the planet is getting a little bit out of control. So, the final spell... I mean, your choice is terrible and terrible. Saber is literally bugged, so I won't buy it, I guess. There you go, we got a full list of spells. What's the top... the top item here? Cabins. They always want to sell me more cabins. I don't want any more cabins. Did you miss an opportunity to make a I can't remember the requirements for the million blue ankylo points, but it was very unlikely. Oh no, it's yet to come up. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's in a series that I haven't... Well, you can probably guess then, but it's it's actually unreleased yet. It's coming up though. Although I suppose in general, I don't generally give out a ton of blue kilo points. It's generally in the order of 1 to 100 at a time. You don't want to devalue the currency by giving them out too often. Saber is supposed to increase the caster's damage and hit percent by a lot. It currently doesn't. Technically, there's a flag for on and off for a bunch of status effects. Uh, variable, you might say, uh, and it just doesn't work. The game doesn't check for it. There's quite a few bugs in the code, apparently. Like Lock 2, making the enemies more evasive rather than less evasive. Alright, so we're gonna give this a try. We got 99 heal potions, uh, which is all that really counts, and we're level 47. And we can run from most fights, so run and preserve your HP, or your heals. These guys can't hurt us significantly, so we can just leave them alone. This fight, though, we have to fight. Um, trying to decide. Overall strategy here, we have to kill four fiends. Unfortunately, gas dragons are terrible and will do more damage to us than almost anything in the game. Um, so we have to kill them fast, and I'm not really... Okay, I'm going to put a save state here just to demonstrate the effectiveness of Quadruple X. Oh, it's a single target spell, and it didn't work. Let's try Zap. Oh, it's very effective. Maybe if I try it a couple times. Oh, we killed one! Uh, I don't know if you got to see that. Am I still on stupidly high speed here? No, it's just going quickly. Um, but, you know, it says sent to some other dimension or something, which is cool and all, but like, yeah, that, that's not going to do it. So we're going to have to nuke groups of uh, gas dragons, and they still didn't kill them all. It didn't kill anything in one turn. Maybe I'll save the rest of the nukes. Oh, we're just dead. Yeah, forget it. Just, just forget it. So groups of four gas dragons, not, not good. <laughs> we're just going to have to basically not run into them. The strategy is don't run into gas dragons. Now you can also say a negative, like a, a poison effect on your blue ankylo, 
points. There may be ways of getting positive regeneration, or at the very least, if you watch regularly, you'll get out new points to counteract the negative flow. So maybe you're stuck watching a lot of videos until you uh, finally end up positive. And, you know, I'm sure there's strategies involved. We took a lot of damage from a random fight there, that's sad. This guy is annoying because he hits really hard, so I'll still defense up. Three times, technically. And then I'll see if I can just physical him down. Because he shouldn't have any other... He shouldn't be able to really hurt me. Oh, actually... <laughs> I just thought of something as it was happening. <laughs> and I was going to explain it after the fight, but we died. So, okay. Technically, we are equipped with a ribbon. The ribbon makes stone... 100% impossible to afflict on us. Not 100%, but it makes the spell glare not work. Uh, a physical attack could do it, I think, um, from a Medusa. But it, but it's specifically the spell he used. Um, what happened was, and it's kind of interesting, there is a level 8 white magic spell called X-Fur. Doesn't sound like much. But what it does, or what it's supposed to do, is reduce enemy resistances. This is in the sense that if they're strong to fire, it should get rid of it. If they're strong to uh, poison, it should get rid of it. It doesn't work against enemies, so putting it on the white mage at level 8 is pointless. It doesn't actually work. But the enemy version of Exfer that this guy used works on us. So he removed our status immunity and then killed us with statuses. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, I'm not happy about it, but I think it's a, an interesting situation that doesn't come up very often. So I figured I would explain it. This is not the time for this music game. The game is the the, the playlist is telling me that I should have beaten this game uh, a couple about a minute ago. This is the ending credit scene to uh, Final Fantasy One. We spent too much time in the ice cave. Okay, so last attempt didn't work. Uh, Okay, we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to go defense. Defense. And then we're going to cast haste or fast on herself. Because I don't need level 2 magic for much. We'll do double damage or double attacks. And we should over... We should have killed him quicker that way. So I'm not used to having a difficult time killing the Phantom. This is this is unusual for me. Ugh. Oh. And then I was thinking about the Phantom, and uh, I got ambushed by gas dragons. And we didn't. We killed one. Try to finish them with Ice Three, maybe to save some charges. All right. Well. We win, but it's very expensive in heal potions. Maybe I should have just got to level 50 after all. Would have been level 50 by now, probably. Oh, uh, not again. I need to save some nukes for, t for uh, the Kraken. It's not enough damage. That's not enough damage either. Jeesh. Alright, how would you like some lightning? I guess lightning might work on the Kraken almost as well as a nuke. <sighs> we want... F how am I going to do all this? I don't know what I'm going to do. This is terrible. Everything is bad. Okay. Forget defenses. We need to kill it before it stones us. Kill. Kill it. Kill it! It expert us. Glare failed though. Okay. Well, the only difference between that and the first two tries was that it just failed its status effect roll. It still did everything else the same as before. Which is hilarious. Alright. One last floor with gas dragons. Please leave me alone. That's fine. 
All right, we're out of there. This floor has worms that you can't run from, which is also pretty bad. But we're out of there. Feeling a little bit more positive. Okay, no more gas dragons or worms, which are the two unrunnable fights in the early part. Uh, of course, you can't run from these either. Uh, we're going to use... They only have physical, so we're going to defense up and save some... Uh, Come on! Save some MP by not having to use magic. And then they did a ton of damage. It's not very nice. It's not something you do to your friends. Unfortunately, I kind of have a feeling we're going to run out of heal potions before we make it to the Masmian. Again, huh? Yeah, by giving me a bunch of hard-hitting fights that you can't run from, uh, it's gonna... Well, I mean, this one worked out, because I don't think they actually hit me for any reasonable damage. So, um, like, that is acceptable. It's the ones where you take 200, 300 damage on a random fight that you just can't sustain that. Every 300 damage is 10 heal.